Bishop Baptiste, thank you for talking to us here today. We're at the Resilience 2017 conference. It's a triennial get-together for people focusing on the interactions between social and ecological systems. Now, first question to you is, what is a social ecological system? I think it's an interpretation of culture. It's a way of uh, introducing or giving sense and meaning to the natural uh, issues that uh, any society has to deal with. So it's a, a complex construction of reality, in mm. fact, and uh, we have to understand how people really uh, learn and integrate those elements into their ways of living. Mm. And learning how to integrate things, that, that leads us also to the fact that science and policy is important for interaction now. We talk about bridging science and policy, and we've done that for, for many years, but we still seem to be missing some elements or bits of it to make it really connect. In your, from your point of view, what is still missing? You're right. Uh, we've been struggling to connect with the politicians as scientists, but I think it's a matter of languages and timing. Mm -hmm. uh, languages, because we still use lots of jargon, we are not really uh, ready or we don't produce uh, very clear messages to the policy makers and decision makers and uh, of course there's the issue of the need the results of science for uh, tomorrow so and, and sometimes scientists are not ready to produce those results in the time frame they the politicians need hmm. does that mean that this it's the scientist that needs to adapt to the politician or is it the other way around i think so i think so because politicians are they do what they need to do and it's to to uh, make decisions on the time frame that society brings mm. them. There's a window of opportunity for them to do things and if we don't really adapt and bring information to them, mm. they will search for another source of knowledge. Mm. Now, you're the head of the von Humboldt Research Institute in Colombia and um, so if you look from a Latin American perspective, what's the role of sustainability science and policy there? I think mostly integrating biodiversity into the sustainability science because uh, most of Latin American countries are also mega diverse countries mm. and the relation of biodiversity and sustainability is, is still not well understood. Mm. So uh, this is a uh, huge uh, field of work for, for those years and the future and uh, also because um, we are still struggling with our development models. So uh, we are depending mostly on oil exports, agricultural exports and so on. And the, the, the world is extractivism. And extractivism is the country of sustainability. Mm. And so that's, we have to balance a bit more uh, our role in the global arena. Mm. Is, is sustainability uh, uh, an issue sort of within the within policy in, 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 and politics in Latin America? Is it accepted? Is it prioritized? Uh, mostly rhetoric, so there's right. because there's plenty other urgent issues, there's uh, stability, political stability is not reached for really discussing sustainability and sustainability is, seemed, is, is seen as something uh, very far away. Uh, we will take care of that uh, because we are rich, we still can do things, uh, but there are some uh, portions of the society that are really concerned about natural resources scarcity and, uh, and pollution and destruction of, of, uh, of the countries. So I think that we are getting there very quickly.